Bonjour tout le monde. Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Nova. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are continuing with this textbook, The Millennium Edition, Food Along with the Civilities of Sponsors, Volume 2, recommended by CBSC Board, written by G. Moshe, published by World Publishers, and Ashet Liefler. Uh, lesson 1 to 17 for class 11 CBSC and lesson 18 to 30th class 12 CBSC. Okay, so we have done literally the synthesis of your portion of chapter 1 to chapter 7. Right, all those videos are present in the playlist titled G Moshe Volume 2 class 11 CBSC. The link to the playlist is provided in the description box below. Today we are to discuss the cultural synthesis for lesson number 8 of this textbook. The grammar, of course, we will discuss later, so we are directly moving to the text of the chapter. The text of the chapter is titled as L'Agriculture d'une belle femme. It's an M, okay. So the title of the text is uh, The Agriculture, A Beautiful Farm. So we are going, going to talk about the beautiful Flemish farm in today's uh, video. So, it is an uh, extract the article de Monsieur Vincent au Courrier de Montréal. So we know that for the, this Courrier de Montréal, Mr. Vincent has come to France and he has explained the advantages of France and he will be writing a report on it, a reportage. Right. So it's an extract from an article of Mr. Vincent, which he wrote for Courrier de Montréal. Right. So, dans son carré de mur, au milieu des champs, la femme flamande est d'une confortable demeure. So, in the, within the squares of the walls, in the middle of the fields, the Flemish farm is a comfortable living space. Demer, living space or residence. Okay, Demer. Residence or living space. Cela se voit to the street. So you can see it right away or immediately. A l'autre bout de la cour, voilà la maison d'habitation avec ses volets vert, ses fleurs aux fenêtres, ses rosiers au mur et son air de propriété. So, at the other end, at the end of the road, there you can see the dwelling house with the shutters, volet shutters, green shutters, uh, it's flowers with windows and it's rose bushes, rosier, rose bushes. Rose bushes with on the walls. Et son air, the property and the clean air. Que chaque chose soit à sa place, qu'il y a, qu'il y ait de l'ordre partout. That everything be at its place and everything is there in order. C'est la volonté du patron. Patron means boss, but to the context, I believe it should mean owner. So it's the wish of the owner that everything is there at its own place and everything is in order. Okay. So let go to Salinia de Batimo. And now we are talking about some buildings of the farm. So on these sides are lined up the buildings. Lekuri. Ekuri is the stable. This table is for who? For uh, poor les chevaux de la poor. So labour, like I found out, labour in this context, like labour means labour, but here it means plow. So the horses that are helping in plow, most probably. Le table pour les vaches, le tiers. So the stable for the, okay, the stable for the horse, le curie. The stable for the cows, 
Netable. So the staple for the cows of the dairy cows, the milking cows, right? The cows uh, that are providing milk. La bergerie ou belle, les brebis et les lags. No. Okay, brebis is your sheep and agno is your lamb okay so uh, then the next building is a bergerie a sheep fold where bleeds the sheep and the lamb to say sanwa sobo a sen s a i n s means healthy so all the and all these animals are beautiful and healthy la veterinaire na bia ba su voice so the veterinary veterinary doctor uh, does not come often here of course le grange je contient la blé et la boine blé is wheat blé is wheat and avoine oats okay avoine is oats so uh facing this uh, the barn the barns containing the wheat and the oats come on les chevaux that are eaten by the cows oh, sorry horses chevaux is horses plural of horse cheval is singular chevaux plural le ongar abrit le machine agricole le tracteur le charou la moissonneuse et tous les outils okay so the sheds are providing shelter to the agricultural machines machine machine agricole agricultural machines Le tracteur, the tractors, le charou, the plow, and la moissonneuse, the harvester, et tous les outils et all the other tools. Pour l'instant, rien ne bouge. For instance, nothing moves. Car c'est l'heure du petit déjeuner. Because it's the time of the breakfast. Mais bientôt, la boudeur, uh, the plowers. Okay. Et berger, and the... Uh, Shepherds. See, from here I got to know that labour in this context means a plow. Okay, so labourer, the one who plow, and berger are the shepherds who are taking care of the uh, these baby, the sheep, and the agno, the lamb. Partiro will leave for the shops in the place. They will uh, leave for the fields, and near to that, a new zero avec la famille visite uh, la bascule. And we will go with the farmers. Farmier is the farmer. Okay, farmier. Farm is farm, so farmier, farmer. We will go with the farmer to visit the barnyard, the barnyard. Deja, dans le poulailler. Already in the chicken coop or the hen house, la boulaille, poultry, sajit. The poultry is or the hens are bustling. Okay. Plusieurs uh, poules ont pondu. Many hens have laid eggs. Écoutez les cris et les chants. Listen to the cries and the song. The bird songs, the chirping. Vite, vite. Quand on finit, quand l'heure ouvre la porte, quand les lèvres picolent au grand soleil. Fast, fast. Let's finish this. Let's get over with this. Uh, let's open the door. Uh, let them uh, peck in the sun. Peck. Um, as much as I know, peck is like when the hen is moving the head like this, and it uh, with the beak it's just doing like this. Right. That's pecking, according to me. So let them peck in the sun. Okay. Picole is the word, verb, 
which means to peck, picore, P-I-C-O-R-E-R, picore, right? Talking about the pictures of this chapter, we have a northerner's rutter, a harvester, a tractor, and a modern plow, yun sharu modern, right? And uh, then we have El Apondu. This is a picture where Hen has laid an egg, and the person is saying El Apondu that she has laid an egg. Right. This was the text. Quite interesting. We got to know about numerous things of the Flemish farms. What all is there? We can. So many animals we come across, right? And so many buildings are there. And right from the morning, people have started working the shepherds, the Farmers, everyone has started working, right. Anyways, we can move to the questions now. Uh, here's my notebook, yes. Chapter 8. La femme flamande est-elle comfortable? Yes, it's a comfortable dwelling place. And we get to know about this from the text, right? So, yes. La femme flamande est confortable. Question number two, we have quels sont les principaux bâtiments de la femme? What are the principal buildings, the main buildings of the farm? Okay, you can name two to four. La Bergerie. Where the sheep and the lambs live. Le Grange, the barns. Le Curie, the stable of the horses. Le Table, the stable of the cows. Right, you can name two to four, it's fine. Et les tables sont les principaux bâtiments. Always write in full sentence. If it was a fill in the blank, like name buildings, you can, you can just name the buildings. But if it's a subjective question, then write in full, right? These are the, build, the principal buildings, the main buildings of the farm. So, les bâtiments. But the more, where were we? Oh, I lost the track. Oh, I opened the wrong chapter. But the more, let me bring the book on. Ah, the marker slipped. Fine. Let me ask the ball. But the more. Uh, one of the bâtiments, the La Femme. Perfect. Question number three, we have Casca Veterinaire. What's a veterinary? Who is a veterinary brother? So a veterinary is the doctor of the animals, right? So, um, veterinaire, Et la médecin is the doctor of animals, des animaux. Question number four, normally machine agricole. We need to name a few agricultural machines. We have quite a few already mentioned in the chapter. So let's write their names. La moissonneuse. Double N or single N? I guess it's a double N, if I'm not wrong. Let me just confirm from the chapter. Yes, double N. And double S. Died. Was on earth, but does. Yes. Was on earth, but does. La tractor, la charlou modèle.
למצוא למשים, למשים אגריקול. Let's move to the next one. Question number five. We have Kaffee Tonavik. Oh, again I left the wrong question. Wait. Kaffee Ton, Donny Grange. What do we keep inside the barns? We keep it the wheat and the oats inside the barn, right? Kaffee Ton, Donny Grange, or me la blink, a la poire, Donny Grange. Omi, lovely, a love one, don't, le grunge, simple. Question number six, we have Thomas Lapel, long draw, old long in there, love or light. Okay, now here's the thing, see. Question number six is Thomas Lapel, long draw, old long in there, love or light. Uh, what's the name of the place? Uh, or what's the place? What do we call that place where one grows the poultry? It's Pulaye. The hen house, right? Where the hens live. Next question is, is Saint-Louis ou elle dort? And the place where one sleeps. Where the hen sleep. So of course the hen will sleep in the Pulaye only. Right. So ideally both should have Pulaye as the answer. But if you want, in the sixth one you may write bus school that they are grown in the farmyard and they sleep in the Pulaye. Because rest of the time they must be roaming around pecking in the field, right? So you can write bus school for sixth, otherwise you can write Pulaye for both. I am going to write Pulaye for both. Okay. Bus school is also possible for question number six. So you can either write, uh, or you to be more specific, you can write that cet endroit est dans la bas school, that this poulailler is inside the farmyard. That can be even more specific, right? But I am writing poulailler in both. Ça comment s'appelle? L'endroit. We have one grows the poultry sapel pulaye or you can write baskur farmyard and in the seventh one it has to be pulaye okay there's no other option according to me a salvi u el tor El dor, don, le poulailler. Here we are being even more specific in the hen house, like inside, right? I hope the article is fine. Yes, le poulailler. Perfect. Again, I read the wrong question. Aimez vous les oeufs? Les oeufs. Right. In singular, it's of. In plural, it's of. Because S gets added up at the end and consonant after consonant, the pronunciation becomes silent. Right. So, oui, j'aime les oeufs. If you don't like eggs, you can simply write, no, je n'aime pas les oeufs. Right. So, I am writing yes. Though I don't like it that much, but okay, I can write, yes, I like. J'aime les oeufs. And the ninth one, que fait-on avec des oeufs? Des oeufs. So, what do we do with eggs? Now, 
there are there two interpretations. Try means to make or to do. Right. So, what will we do with the eggs? We will eat eggs, right? Or mange des Right. But if the if you interpret it as what can we make from eggs? You can write of a de gato, uh, du uh, mousse au chocolat, right? De la mousse au chocolat. Ooh. The long left, right? So you can name a few dishes. So you can either write like this or mange des which is like quite obvious answer. Or you can write. We can make a fee or a puffer de gato. You can name a few more dishes. I'm writing omelette. With eggs. Okay. What one does with eggs? One eats eggs. And what one can make from eggs, one can make cake, omelette, with eggs, chocolate mousse. Uh, what else can be made with eggs? There are many more things which can be made with eggs. Anyways, that's sufficient for chapter number nine, sorry, chapter number eight. Right. So, yeah, let's put a halt here. Sito Pujuti, that's all for today. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Love Fitness and Work. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Love Fitness and Work. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. Nous ne parlons pas. Nous ne parlons pas. Nous ne parlons pas.